Hey y'all, let's check out Falling Waters. Hey y'all, so today we're looking around Falling Waters. This land is brought to us by the Nature Collective, so let's look around. So this land is like a meadow slash forest enchanted slash walking trail park. It's a lot of different things going on here, so I definitely wanted to look around. Once again, I didn't like kind of plan out a route, so we're just gonna look around a little bit. Lots of picture opportunities and things like that. Lots of sitting spaces. This space is not um, huge, but like I said, when the lands are not that big, they always make sure that they pack so, so many things in it. Lots of nice sounds. So I did take a little bit of a sneak peek around, but I didn't go into detail, which is why I really don't have like a set path for us to take. So on this land, as many smaller lands do, they tend to build up, which I always feel like is a very smart thing to do because you are able to get more things on a smaller plot of land. And it just makes the space seem larger. So I do feel like this land is ideal for couples. It has very much so a romantic type vibe to it so i do think that it is most fitting for couples when it comes to pictures but of course if you wanted to roam around on your own you're also going to be feeling okay to do that as well it's not like you're going to be uncomfortable walking around because it's couples around here no so let's sit here to go up so around this land, what I did notice is there are plenty, plenty, plenty of sitting spaces and lots of beautiful focal points for you to enjoy. So I really felt like that added to the character of the space. They do have like very foresty vibes, but then they'll do some things that makes it feel a little bit more um, whimsical, for lack of a better word. And I love lands like this. Look at the sparkles. So one of the things that I really did enjoy on this land was the fact that they did have plenty of places and spaces to sit at and beautiful picturesque opportunities throughout this entire land. Every new space seems to be filled with so much enchanted mystique that I really, really enjoyed just finding new little things that are just very aesthetically pleasing and just so much enjoyment for your eyes. The seating on this land is definitely ample, so you won't have to worry about that. I feel like this would be a wondrous place to bring family, friends, just to come and chill by yourself, maybe read a book, or bring like a special someone here for this very magical feeling land. I love how each level kind of has a different vibe to it, but everything is very cohesive, so it doesn't feel like anything is out of place. I like how this land allows you to kind of get lost or a little bit off track just to come across some very wondrous things that made the whole getting lost process worthwhile. This is a beautiful chess set brought to us by Mad P, so it is interactive if anyone wanted to come and play. Almost every space has multiple places where you can stop and take pictures and do all different types of things. If you have your own poses, you can use them as well, but they have supplied us with poses from their um, items as well. So I must admit, I did just do a quick once over on the land before I actually decided to walk around. So many of these things, I too am just saying it for the first time. So I am definitely excited about all that they have. This house looks like it's a decorated house that we perhaps can go into. Okay, so I'm not sure if they offer rentals on this land. I'm just not sure about it. I didn't see any spaces that looked like they could be rented, but I definitely like that they have a little decorated house and just cute little knickknacks and things like that for you to enjoy. You can sit, and again, this is a nice role play picture type area. I'm not gonna go upstairs because I do like to leave a little wonder to you guys or for you guys. We can TP to the rooftop though. So 
So while you guys are visiting this house, make sure that you TP to the rooftop. This is so magical, so beautiful with the wonderful view of the land. I am in, in um, shared environment settings. So this is the land setting or the sky setting that they have um, come up with themselves to just make the space even that much more special. When you pan out on this land, it does seem like it's smaller, but as you walk around it, it definitely feels much larger um, than I expected it to be. The amount of sitting spaces that they have is really, really nice, and I like how each space is kind of secluded so that if you decided that you wanted to come here with a group of people or something like that, you wouldn't feel like you were taking up space from other people because they definitely made sure that there is enough space for everyone to enjoy. So the land is surrounded by water and they have many, many um, sitting spaces and things for you to do while you're in the water as well as around the water. Look how pretty this is. As you move closer to the water, you will notice that it will get a little bit rainy. So make sure that you grab one of the umbrellas from the umbrella stands that are strategically placed around the land. They have so many cute animated things for you to sit in, to just to be able to enjoy the view, as well again as to take pictures. If you're in Second Life, you know, pictures are a really big thing. So that's why all of the lands are always very picturesque. So this is another really, really cute space full of animals. Um, just for point of reference, this land is not double click friendly. So if you double click, you will end up back at the beginning. If that's something that you want, then double click away. If not, I would not suggest it. You guys, this land has so much to see and do, and I definitely know that you will enjoy it. So make sure that you check out Falling Waters. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.